Welcome back to Dawn Starkey Diary, and today we're going to journal about, what do you think? Easter? Thanksgiving? Halloween? Arbor Day? No! Christmas at Walt Disney World Resort. Today, specifically, we're gonna discuss Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. So here we go! Like my hat. This is my son's sweater. I actually have like three shirts on underneath it. It's a little big, but better than being too small. Hey, let's get started about Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. It is held at Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida at Magic Kingdom Park. The time is 7 p.m. to midnight and you will be left with another 19,999 people because as far as I know, they put a cap on it to about 20,000. But 20,000 is a lot of people, but it sounds a lot better than 100,000 people. You'll enter through, um, a cast member will be holding up a Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party little sign. You'll enter through that way. They'll give you a special wristband that shows that you purchased the special events ticket. Once you're in the park, let's say you're a day guest already in the park, there are different, you don't have to go back up to the front to come back in to get a wristband. There are gonna be special locations marked for wristbands uh, for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. So if you're in the theme park, don't worry about having to leave to get that wristband. They will be at marked locations and you can easily find that out. Um, just ask any cast member, they'll be able to tell you. Uh, a special note, not all attractions and restaurants will be open during Mickey very Merry Christmas party. So if there's a special place you wanted to eat or a, um, a traditional ride you like to ride at Magic Kingdom, then you might want to get to it, such as like Carousel of Progress. It's one of our family's favorite tradition, uh, traditional rides that we love because of Walt Disney and the history behind it. And I know a lot of people probably find it boring and can't stand it, but it's special to our family. So it's something that we want to make sure, you know, that we jump on. But also I wanted to make note, um, there are no fast passes available. Again, there's only 20,000 people coming. So you do have a lot less people to filter through and wait in line for. But uh, just wanted to let you know that there are no fast passes, but again, you're working with less people than you normally would on a normal day at Magic Kingdom. So that is definitely a plus. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party begins November 8th and it runs through December 22nd. Okay, your fireworks and all the special events that actually happen during Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. You have Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time fireworks show. Um, it also is a mix of favorite Christmas songs and it's just joyful music. So that is going to be a sight to see. So again, Minnie's wonderful Christmas time show is the fireworks extravaganza. So that will be a nice uh, little treat. Oh no, my snow, my snow brooch fell off. I have to get it, hold on. I got it. Oh no, it's a special brooch, see? I love it. Okay. Okay, that's the things that happen when you're videoing. Okay, another thing that everybody loves so much is the snow on Main Street, or as really snow on Main Street. It's actually like soap, but it's so lifelike, it's so real. But hey, how about this? You're getting a bath while on Main Street. That sounds good. I would be a little mean right now and say that some people probably could use that extra soap. Okay, so snow on Main Street, major deal. Everybody loves it. So uh, oh, it's just such a special moment when the castle's all lit up. Elsa, actually, from Frozen, of course, if I even need to say that, um, opens up. Uh, well, it's kind of like an open show. I don't even know how to describe it. She bedazzles Cinderella Castle. That's the best way to describe it with her. And then the snow on Main Street, it's just, oh, there's just no way to describe it. You have to see it. Videos don't do it justice. It's sparkling and twinkling and just like a fairy tale. It's just beautiful. Now I'm gonna vlog and everything when I'm there, but it's just so special to be there and the surroundings and that music and the snow and everything. 
besides all of that, you have the characters in their festive little outfits and you have Mickey and he's so even more adorable than ever because he's my absolute favorite character in the whole wide world. I just have a special connection with him. I actually made him propose to me by Cinderella Castle before. He sat down on his knee and proposed to me. I need to find that picture. And the sad part is I had him do it more than once. I had him do it at Car Character Spot at Epcot before and Minnie was right there. And she was so mad at me and Goofy was laughing, but Goofy was disappointed in me too. I think actually he was more disappointed in Mickey because he was the cheater. Well, I guess I was the cheater too because I'm married, but come on. But Minnie was right there. At least my husband wasn't right there. And Minnie was so sad and giving me such a mean look. But I'm a girl's girl, Minnie. I mean, I'm a mouse girl's Minnie. But I had to. And I have that picture. And I will show you. Ha <laughs> ha. He proposed to me. But the way the characters interacted with that, it's amazing. So anywhere I go, Mickey's going to propose to me. And I will get every picture and video and show you. I don't care if Minnie gets mad. And I definitely don't care if Goofy gets mad because he'll forget about it and tell a joke or something. But their festive outfits are everything. So I don't even care normally about taking pictures with the characters, to be honest. Not that I'm too old or grown up by any means for that. Because, like, you know, Peter Pan never grow up. That's me. But I just don't want to waste my time doing that when I could jump on a ride or, or what have you. So, uh, but they're so cute at Christmas time, I have to. So that's another one. And also special characters come out during this time. You know, the characters you don't see often, like uh, Jack Skellington, and just a lot of different special characters, as they say. Not just Disney characters, special Disney characters. So that is really unique and a nice experience that you wouldn't see normally during the day. So that would make it worth it to purchase the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party ticket. Also, besides them being adorable in their festive outfits, special characters coming out. A new fireworks show, Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks Show. You have food and drinks. Special holiday, festive food and drinks, like hot apple cider, hot chocolate, milk and cookies, um, little cupcakes, candies, you have snow cones, you have a snowman pretzel. There are so many things that are included with your special events ticket. That, that makes it special in itself. I mean, to go in there and not really have to open up your wallet or scan your magic band um, for food items or um, drinks, I don't know. I know you've paid for it in advance with a special events ticket, but it just makes it more magical when you're not having to pay for stuff. Paying for stuff's real life. You're in the Disney bubble, people. Okay, so we have all that. Also to mention, at Christmas time, which really begins November 1st, November 2nd at Walt Disney World, all the landscaping, everything has changed. Poinsettias are everywhere, gorgeous wreaths, Mickey wreaths on the lamp poles, um, I think this year they have oranges and lemons and like obviously Florida has oranges, but it looks like um, pine cones and even pineapples and some. It's more, I don't know. I really love the look this year they're going with. Just more of a festive, welcoming, um, I don't know. It just looks like it has a lot of meaning in it. Of course, Florida oranges, um, Mickey, of course, I don't know. Well, obviously pineapples mean welcome and you're, you know, come on in. It just feels more welcoming than usual. So enjoy all those festive lights, decor everywhere, in the stores for the merch, um, on the castle, of course, with the special bedazzled lights. Um, you have so many different spots to look at, so many different ears, like these Santa ears my husband purchased two years ago at the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Um, you have a lot like these right here. So you see these? These are um, special Mickey Mouse and like Christmas lights. Flashing, it flickers, flashes, stays on. It's probably way overpriced. I think it was, actually I think that was $14.99, which for Disney isn't bad. This was probably about $34.99, but it kept it warm. It was actually pretty cold that year. And you know, I also like to use it um, as a souvenir and to put on the top of our crazy candy Christmas tree in my den. So there's a lot of things you can use, 
use you know year round with the souvenirs that you buy at Walt Disney World. It doesn't have to be a one and done type situation like, oh look, you know, it's on my shelf. It's a dust collector, you know. I like to reuse my stuff. Like right now, I'm reusing that. It's not even officially Christmas yet, but see, I'm using this right now on my head. Keep my head really hot though. Um, but the point is, um, so many festive uh, and holiday merch is out. Sweaters, hats, uh, new kitchen towels, which I like to buy a lot of stuff like that when I'm at Walt Disney World. I like to buy things I can use. Kitchenware, um, dish towels, um, purses, wallets, you know, thing, things I use everyday life so I can actually have a little bit of Disney with me all, all year, 365 days a year. 365 days a year. I sound what, sort of like Mickey when I did that. Not really. Okay. Oh my gosh. My daughter, this is a new cringy moment. Actually, this, this, that, and the way I just said that, oh, extra cringy. Yes. She's going to love it. Don't watch my videos, Peyton, if, I, if I'm too cringy. But y'all watch my videos, please because I'm cringy, but this is me, and it drives her crazy, but okay, uh, enough about me, I already had that video, me, me, me. Oh yeah, and them. <laughs> That's a title of my last video, to get to know me a little bit better. And um, okay, the landscaping, the garland, the wreaths, everything about it changes, and they're so quick with it. The giant Christmas tree in the front of Magic Kingdom in Town Square, oh, it's beautiful. And really look at, look at the things, like, their rides, you know, they change up their rides and make it like instead of the Jungle Cruise, the Jingle Cruise. You know, there's so many little touches that you might not notice. Take the time and smell the roses. Take the time and really look at the Christmas decorations and walk around and get spit on by the camel. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, research it. Just, and people watch. Oh my God, the best thing in the world is the people watch, y'all. Just sit back with a coffee or a snow cone or a pineapple Dole Whip and just enjoy where you're at at that moment with your family. And more importantly, get videos and pictures of your family members. Don't just video, let's say, Astro Orbiter or Space Mountain. Get your family in those pictures and videos because they won't always be around. And I know that sounds horrible, but that is more important than you looking back at a video of just the Astro Orbiter or, you know, Tomorrowland Speedway or Carousel of Progress. Get your family in those videos. They're the ones you're going to want to look back and, you know, and think about and reminisce on. It's not that ride. It's that, it's your family with that ride. So I know, sorry, I'm getting way off subject, but y'all know how I am. Um, just enjoy life and the people you love. So I'm off of that, y'all, back on Disney. I'm sorry about that. But that is, you know, kind of what Disney's about as well. Um, again, I mentioned that not all the attractions are gonna be open during this special ticketed event. I mentioned the goodies, the drinks, the ciders, the milk chocolate, the hot cocoa, the cookies, the candy, the uh, free food and drink items, specialty that, that come along with this. I mentioned Snow on Main Street. I mentioned that Elsa will have a little opening show where she, bedazzles the castle. You'll have joyful music playing everywhere with wonderful favorite Christmas songs. You will have Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks show. Again, seven to midnight, you can enjoy this event. You do have a special ticket that you need to purchase to come in to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. No fast passes, select rides are going to be happening. You will also have a uh, club tinsel over at Cosmic Rays that you can partake in. It is a lot of fun. There's a few characters that pop up and show up in there, especially for those little ones, Get as if they haven't had enough exercise and crazy. Get them dancing and you can have a break, sit down, have a hot chocolate or something, and enjoy watching them dance with these characters and, and with this fun, festive, fast Christmas music. It's, it's a lot of fun. Also, Tomorrowland will be decorated like Christmas. They'll have their usual Tomorrowland characters going at the um, 
stage between Space Mountain and Carousel of Progress, and I don't know what officially that stage is called, but there's always fun stuff going on there. The Incredibles, Elastigirl my husband's in love with, uh, just all fun character, Tomorrowland characters. So, um, and then of course you got Buzz over there too, and uh, a lot of special characters. Um, uh, dance parties, dance music everywhere, just sprinkled throughout the park. You also have um, uh, Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade that will be happening. Um, it's a special parade that only happens at Christmas time. Um, Santa, of course, is at the end of it. And uh, I am not a huge parade person. I've seen, I mean, I used to love the electrical, um, not water pageant, that's what I was gonna say. The, uh, oh, the electrical parade on Main Street. Main Street, electrical parade, dirt, Um, Oh, that was one of my favorites. I was so bummed when they took that away. But I do actually like Mickey's Very Merry uh, Christmas Parade, which is once upon a Christmas time parade. That's the official name. I really like it. The toy soldiers are really cool. They're all in their festive little Christmas outfits. Again, it's snowing, snoping on Main Street. That experience is really, I want you to take the time to enjoy that parade. Again, I'm not a huge parade person. Again, I'd rather be jumping on the rides and all the people standing by watching the parades. But this is a parade I actually take time and I get in line for because I wanna see all the the magic that's happening. And, and I do mean magic. It's It really puts you in the Christmas spirit. And it, it gets you going, it gets you there. So you need to enjoy that parade. Also, another thing I wanted to mention. Oh, what was I gonna mention? Ah, thank Dawn, thank Dawn, thank Dawn. I don't know. I just know it's a good time. You'll enjoy yourself. Your family will enjoy it. Y'all have these memories forever. Capture your family in these memories. And any photo pass you go by, it's free to get your picture taken. Now, mind you, to get it taken. You can always go through it on my Disney Experience or the Walt Disney World website. And you can select and purchase separately later on the picture if you want to purchase it. Or go there at certain photo pass uh, places and look and see if there's a favorite you might want to purchase. You do not have to purchase them just to get your picture made. That's free. You can go back through them all and say, oh, there's the best one. That's where I want to spend my money. So just know that. I don't know if a lot of people know that. They might think you purchase it right when you get your picture taken, but no, I look disgusting in half the pictures. There might be one good one that's randomly taken because the photo pass um, cast members will take them, you know, as you're walking up, as you're trying to pose, as you're looking at your spouse in a loving or unloving way, or, you know, so those random shots are my best shots, to be honest. My pose shots are awful, and I don't want to purchase ugly, gross photos of myself. Who does? Come on. But you don't have to. So take as many as you want. Have them take as many as you want, and then if you want them, purchase them and you don't have to purchase them while you're there you have a certain amount of time after you get home you could purchase them okay let's recap real quick okay we have a frozen holiday wish where Elsa bedazzles the castle that happens at 6 15 and 8 15 we also have two Mickey's once upon a Christmas time parade that's at 8 30 and 11 p.m. We have the Castle Stage Show, which I do not believe I mentioned earlier, and I'm going to use my cheat sheet. That is named Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration. And the times for the Castle Stage Show are 7.40, 9.25, 10.30, and 11.55. So if you can't make the first and second, that's probably a good thing. Try to make the latter part of the evening shows because a uh, lot less people and um, most of those little ones are probably already gone uh, back to Sleepy Town at the resort. You also have, uh, for the first time in forever, Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks show and that is about 9.55 and that is only once during Mickey's very merry Christmas party so you want to make sure you get a good spot 
for that. And it's usually holiday wishes, but it's changed up this year. Um, okay, I am using my cheat sheet, just so you know. I wanna make sure I get everything right so you get current and correct information. Of course, you have the snowfall on Main Street or the snow on Main Street. And that is magical in itself. The Totally Tomorrowland party around the Tomorrowland stage uh, show area. And that is at 7.15, 8.35, 9.25, 10.45, 11.35. So if you can't make the first or second, remember, you can make the other ones. And it's just as fun and uh, fun, crazy, festive lights, great music, and just a fun dance party. Also, you have Club Tinsel from 7 p.m. to midnight at... Oh goodness, uh, Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe, and that has involved some other characters, a fun dance party for the little ones and the big ones, and, um, and places to sit, and air conditioning if need be at that time of year. So it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of other things going on. You also have Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks Dessert Party. You have two different purchase prices for the event. One is for a priority seating area at Tomorrowland Terrace, and one is for the Plaza Garden Viewing, and that's more of a reserved viewing area. So the more expensive one would be, of course, Tomorrowland Terrace, and the less expensive one would be um, the Plaza Garden Viewing area. So really, it's the same dessert party with non-alcoholic drinks and a lot of holiday desserts, but your viewing of the fireworks would be at a different location. One at Plaza Garden Viewing. It is a roped off area, but you kind of find your own little spot to sit in in the grass, a beautiful little grass area. But a lot of people can stand in front of you and it can be very obstructed. I've had that view a few times or purchase the Tomorrowland Terrace one when you have the tables and chairs and you might have a less obstructed view of the fireworks. So it's your choice. Okay, you also have Tony's most merriest town square party with reserved viewing for the Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. So you will get hors d'oeuvres, alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks and desserts and have a great reserved area for the Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. And that's at Tony's Town Square. And again, it's called the Tony's Most Merriest Town Square Party. I think Disney does this on purpose just so people have to say all this. And uh, again, you can get some reserved um, areas for the Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. So if you're interested, that is a special uh, purchase price as well on top of the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party special event ticket. So if you want to spend a lot of money, there's another way to do it. Also, when you're coming in to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, um, through that VIP backstage special entrance, entrance, you will also receive goodies, like I've mentioned, the food and drinks. A cookie, milk, just festive holiday uh, treats. Um, so that's a lot of fun as well. Plus, they also have great little props set up for photo ops, and that's always a lot of fun. And um, special holiday or festive merch, such as uh, Mickey um, Very Merry Christmas Party t-shirts or um, ears, special um, holiday Mickey ears or mini ears or what have you. So that's also a lot of fun. Light up necklaces like this right here that we purchased at our Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party two years ago. So, and, and things like this. So uh, you'll enjoy yourself for sure. And you have to be part of the magic and the fun by getting one of these. Come on, it's worth it. You can reuse it like I mentioned before, but it's a lot of fun. So I just wanted to mention the special photo ops, again, the special characters and their um, the ones that you don't see on a regular basis at uh, Walt Disney World Resort and their cute little special festive outfits. Yeah. Make sure to check it out and if there's anything I forgot, please comment below and let me know. I'm sure you will. And uh, let me know what your favorite thing is at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. To be honest, mine is pretty much jumping on rides when other people are watching these parades, watching these castle, castle stage shows. Happy Holidays! 
and get over to Walt Disney World Resort and Magic Kingdom for Mickey's very merry Christmas party. Ho, ho, ho.